How you guys doing? We are going to talk about another set of movies because I, after doing that Evil Dead video, it got me really excited for videos again. And uh, I think I want to continue that track record, kind of talking about newer movies, but also older movies and not doing, oh my god, I gotta review this movie in this video and then do another video. And do another video and do another video. You know, you know what I mean? Like at the when you're reviewing a set of movies and making it into separate videos, it's kind of annoying. And it's kind of nice to talk about a trilogy of movies in one video instead of three separate videos or something like that. So the ones we're talking about today is the Three from Hell trilogy. Now these are Rob Zombie films. If you don't know, Rob Zombie is a musician, a filmmaker. I think he's best known for his music because his films are kind of not the greatest. Like here's some of his films: Halloween. Uh, let me this one come out. Whatever the Halloween remake, which. Is not very good. And they went back to continuing the original franchise. Instead of continuing with this remake. They have the sequel to the Halloween remake. Which is horrible. By most people's standards. I haven't seen it in a while. So I can't really speak to that. This strange animated film. Lords of Salem. And you know there's 31. But yeah he just has a lot of not the greatest films. So, yeah, he's kind of an oddball director, um, but is, but I enjoy his films, and these this trilogy is the perfect examples why, because these are fucked up movies. Uh, there's no other way to describe them. Um, I guess we'll start with House of a Thousand Corpses, which is the first of this trilogy, this, this and this is not an intentional trilogy. Um, this movie came out. It was a low budget movie, and it's his first movie. And it's basically you. It introduces to the character of Captain Spaulding, and it's a really weird kind of movie. But it's a lot of fun, and yeah, it says two young couples take a misguided tour onto the back roads of Amer of America in search of a local legend known as Dr. St. Lost Lost and and Standard Stranded they set upon they are sorry and stranded they are set upon a bizarre family uh of pissy chaotic murderers cannibalists satanic, rit sat satanic rituals who are just a few of the 1,000 plus horrors that await. So this is a creepy movie. It's got a weird plot. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And he, it kind of introduces us to these characters. That we'll kind of see throughout the next of these movies. And so it's a fun movie. And you can get this Blu-ray for pretty cheap. Um, I think it's like. It's, you can probably get it for less than 10 bucks. I got this for 5 bucks off of Amazon on sale. Uh, don't. It's not on sale anymore, but, you know, if you wait long enough, it'll probably go back on sale. This It's a lot of fun. I hope we get a 4K of this movie at some point. Um, same thing with The Devil's Rejects, which is most people's favorites of this movie. Because this, this just gives us a slight glimpse into this messed up group of people who are fucked up. This whole movie is those characters doing unredeemable things, but they're also kind of funny. They were also kind of, it's, that's the thing, what I really enjoy about Rob Zombie's films is they're really twisted, like, they're very dark, um, they're, it, it's, all the characters are not good people, they, they do irredeemable actions, things like that, but they're always entertaining to watch. And also these characters are very funny. Especially Captain Spaulding and some of the other ones. This family is very entertaining. They're very funny. The Firefly family are just great characters. They're very memorable characters. Um, 
these are the only Rob Zombie films that people talk about because of the characters. But of course, by the end of this movie, they die. And it's very strange because then Rob Zombie said, I'm making a sequel to The Devil's Rejects with the same characters. And I was like, how the hell are you going to do that? And he gave us three from L. Which does a terrible job of explaining how these characters survive. And the other... <laughs> This movie's not the best, to be honest. Uh, here's the, and this is the only one that has a 4K because this one came out like, wait, I think 2019. Yeah, 2019. So it's a um, it's a very weird movie in that sense because you got this trilogy of movies that was never meant to be a trilogy. They die in the sequel, and I is I have fun with this movie. I laugh. I really enjoyed the characters in this movie. The issue is the best character in the movie, Captain Spaulding, is not in it. Because the actor who plays him, Sid Haig, was not in the best shape or something like that. I forget the story, but he's not in it that much for whatever reason. And that hurts it. And also, just it didn't need to be a trilogy. Uh, see, I really enjoyed The Devil's Rejects, watching these characters do messed up things. But it's very justified by the end of those by the end of that movie that they die because they're fucking messed up. You know, it it really adds a lot to the movie when they die. There is no other way around it. They need to die, and so like in this movie, there are people like trying to get these people out of jail and like nah they're free the firefly family and i'm like no it, it just felt so much like rob zombie kind of lost the plot of what's going on here and he just like he just kind of was like well all my movies have negative will against them this is the only one that has goodwill for it <laughs> so might as well just uh just go for it and make a sequel and he doesn't really care about how he did it if it if it made sense or not or whatever it it was fun i had some entertainment but it's not good and to be honest these aren't the greatest movies these are just kind of horror these are kind of junk food horror movies i would say they're not well written they're kind of cheapo low budget movies they're kind of dirty and grimy and ugly looking movies but they're a lot of fun if you are someone just eats up like crazier weirder bizarre movies that are really messed up <laughs> like i do and that's why i enjoy these movies and i think they're a fun trilogy of movies you can watch them as a trilogy now which is kind of fun and they are fun to watch as a trilogy i watched them as a trilogy so that was that's for my thoughts on the Devil's Rejects trilogy or the Three from Hell trilogy or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like uh, Edgar Wright's uh, who is it? Um, you know, whatever the one, whatever the name of the trilogy for whatever the trilogy name is for Hot Fuzz and you know those movies. If you know what I'm talking about, it's kind of like that where it's an intentional trilogy. But you can watch it as a trilogy, it's a lot of fun.